All right. Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Karen Caldwell. I'm the owner and nutrition coach here at B3 Gym. Thank you so much for joining us for the new year, new, new you nutrition talk. We're going to talk about the three tips for actually achieving your resolutions this year. So you should have got an email with a workbook that you can use to follow along. If you do have any questions as we go, we can type them in the chat, write them down. Um, I'll open it up for questions at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we will get started. All right. All right, so just kind of a quick intro at B3 Gym. We believe something as fundamental as nutrition should not be complicated. So we want you to feel confident with a realistic and sustainable plan, which is why we focus on a habit-based approach to help you reach your goals one step at a time. Our nutrition program is backed by Healthy Steps Nutrition, who has helped over 30,000 people all around the world take control of their health. And then here are just a few of our very own incredible success stories, two of which are watching at this moment. Uh, we know that taking steps towards improving your health is simple, but it's not necessarily easy. So just like these people, you can find your success one step at a time as well. All right. So how many times have you heard the phrase new year, new you, right? At the beginning of every new year, many of us make resolutions in hopes of becoming a better version of ourselves. A new year's resolution is a common tradition when people resolve to continue good practices, change undesired traits or behaviors, accomplish personal goals, or otherwise just improve their lives. So I'm going to share a quick story about a client of mine. Uh, before coming in to see me, they had gotten a $15 a month membership at a gym and decided to try the Whole30 diet because they heard of a few people who had lost weight during doing it. Uh, she shared that she had a holiday work party where she decided to kind of throw her diet out the window uh, for the night and overindulge a little bit. She felt so bad about it the next day that she gave up entirely on her plan. She couldn't get motivated to get to the gym and she did not stick with her Whole30 program. February came around and, and she ended up gaining weight. Has it, something like this ever happened to you? Have you ever gotten super motivated only to find yourself completely forgetting about your resolution just a few weeks later? If you have, you are definitely not alone. So reports indicate that approximately 60% of people make a New Year's resolution. Only 8% of people who make New Year's resolutions reported actually achieving them. According to the US World and News Report, 80% of New Year's resolutions fail by February. In a 2014 report, 35% of participants who failed their New Year's resolutions admitted that they had set unrealistic goals. 33% didn't keep track of their progress, and 23% completely forgot about them. About 1 in 10 respondents claimed that they had made too many resolutions to begin with. Additionally, research participants achieved their goal 22% more often when they engaged in goal setting, when resolutions were made in terms of small and measurable goals, like losing a pound a week rather than simply just a broad goal of losing weight. So where did this client go wrong? What was the reason she fell into the 92% of people who did not achieve their goals? Maybe because she tried to do too much at once. Maybe she wasn't being realistic. Maybe she didn't even have a specific goal in mind, which left her without much direction. So here's the thing. It's likely a combination of all of those things and then some. So while I can't tell you the exact reason she fell short, I can help you set yourself up for success with your resolutions this year. First things first, we need direction. And to get direction, we should have specific goals in mind. When it comes to setting goals, you need to start with an assessment. So thinking about what does success look like to you? What do you want to achieve this year? Common personal goals include losing weight and saving money. The strategy for goal setting begins with the big picture. So taking a look at the big picture before breaking it into smaller components allows you to focus on the primary goal. 
Once the main goal is set, breaking it up into smaller, more achievable components helps in the planning portion of setting the goal. These smaller, more attainable objectives promote self-esteem and provide instant feedback to keep you on track. Think about what has worked well for you in the past. You might want to revisit those things that helped you reach your past goals. What didn't work well for you in the past? You probably don't want to go back to those things that didn't help you move the needle forward. Time management is the practice of systematically finishing tasks in order to help facilitate achieving your goals. So during your assessment, you need to think about the time commitment for achieving your goals. If your goal is to eat healthier in order to lose weight, then you need to commit the time to plan out your meals, go grocery shopping, and meal prep and cook. So take a moment if you have your workbook to complete the self-assessment as a first step for setting your new year's goals. If you don't have the workbook, you can take a moment just to think about what are your big picture goals. So once you think about that, you can take a moment to write down or think about your why. This is a big thing I talk about with my nutrition clients. Your why is the strong emotional connection to your end goal. And you might have written a goal to lose X amount of weight, but stop and think, why is that goal so important to you? Is it to be a better role model, to change your health outcomes, increase your confidence, feel better in your clothes? Take a moment to consider and write down your why before we dive into our three steps for finding your new you this year. Tip number one is to ditch the all or nothing mindset. This is a big one. So we live in a society where we expect instant results. We want things to happen really quickly, maybe even overnight. But the truth is that it takes time to make your changes stick. You need to create healthy habits, which you can build into your current lifestyle after consistently achieving them over a period of time. There are likely several goals or resolutions that you want to commit to for the new year, but the key is to only work on one thing at a time. Research has shown that when people try to change a single behavior at a time, the likelihood that they'll retain that habit for a year or more is better than 80%. When they try to tackle two behaviors at once, their chances of success are less than 35%. And when they try for three or more, their success rate plummets to less than 5%. So is it any surprise that when people try to massively overhaul their lifestyle in a short period of time, the changes don't stick? Of course not. And this is why you need to focus on one thing at a time to set yourself up for success. So how do we know where to start? We should aim to find a low hanging fruit, something that you can easily achieve consistently. And you might be wondering why choosing something that's so easy to accomplish is important. Well, have you ever heard the idea that success breeds motivation? It's definitely true. So let's say that my goal is to lose weight. And while I know there are so many things I can change to start making progress, I decide that drinking eight ounces of water first thing in the morning before anything else is where I'm going to start. Once I get super confident and consistent with this every single morning, I'll feel more capable to add more. So I take this success and I start thinking about adding in a serving of vegetables at dinner. Now, a few weeks later, I start eating more vegetables at lunch and dinner and so on. When we can start small and find the little wins, we have more motivation to start tackling those bigger actions like hitting the gym, meal prepping, most of my meals at home, or whatever else comes to mind for your journey. And it all started with one little glass of water first thing in the day. Tip number two is going to be to start with a clean slate. So there are likely several goals or resolutions that you've attempted in the past, or there might be a diet plan or a nutrition challenge that left you feeling unsuccessful. Well, you're not alone in that. Research reports that at least two thirds of people on diets will regain more weight than they lost. Give yourself a little bit of grace, put those negative experiences, outcomes, and thoughts behind you and move forward with a clean slate. If you feel that mindset is one of the things that's holding you back, take the time to start and end your day with positive affirmations. 
every morning aim to write or recite three positive affirmations. This might sound like I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. I'm better than I used to be, better than I was yesterday, and hopefully not as good as I'll be tomorrow. I have all the strength and confidence within me that I need to succeed. Next, you can think about ending your day with gratitude. So writing and reciting, reciting to yourself three positive things about yourself or your day. I am strong for accomplishing blank. I am brave for doing blank. I am grateful for blank. Great way to start and end your day. In addition to shifting your mindset with affirmations and gratitude to keep a, uh, to create a clean slate, consider creating a visual to keep your end goal at the forefront of your mind. This might be a vision board. Those have recently become very popular. Maybe it's a picture of your friends or family. Maybe it's the outfit that you want to wear again. Whatever it is, we want it to relate back to your goal we define and the why behind it. So while mindset is a huge part of starting with a clean slate, let's talk about setting ourselves up for success with a clean pantry. So the closet clean out strategy is a great one to use at the beginning of the year. So here are four tips for cleaning out your refrigerator and pantry. Number one is to remove anything expired. There are so many products we hang on to without even realizing that they're out of date. So the first step is to do a clean out is to check the expiration labels and get rid of anything that is out of date. Number two is to check the sugar content. So sugar, as we know, is added to many processed foods labeled as healthy. Did you know that the American Heart Association recommends that kids age two to 18 and women consume no more than 25 grams of added sugar per day and men should consume no more than 36 grams. We check the nutrition facts label for added sugar in your food products. Number three is gonna be to check the fat and sodium content. So fat and sodium are stabilizers. Companies tend to add these to food products to make them last longer on the shelves. So while we wanna incorporate healthy fats from nuts, seeds, and oils, we wanna limit processed foods loaded with fat and added trans fat. So many sauces, soups, and processed foods are loaded with sodium. So make sure you're checking the nutrition facts label for added fat and sodium in your food products. Number four is gonna to be to strategically place your whole foods. So when you open the pantry, you're more likely to grab whatever is directly in your line of vision. So what's the first thing you see when you open the fridge or pantry? Try moving all of your whole foods to the shop top shelf of the refrigerator or your line of sight in the pantry. So now that we have a clean slate, let's discuss tip number three, which is making a plan for success. Benjamin Franklin said it best, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. We know that success leads to continued motivation when it comes to achieving your goals. So how will you plan for success? <coughs> Excuse me. Going back to our goal setting, what is realistic? Are you setting yourself up for success or failure? How will you stay accountable to your goals? Keep your goals visible, write them down and keep them in view. Share your goals with a friend or family member. Most people will highly benefit from having an accountability partner. Find a way to track your progress. That could be an app, a calendar, a Google sheet, daily journal, and remember that you can't measure what you're not tracking. So if you're thinking that you aren't sure where to start when it comes to staying accountable and tracking, here's the secret. Working with a nutrition coach is the fastest way for you to reach your goals. So we'll use our tools and resources to help you define your goals, create your habits, and track your habits while staying focused and accountable every step of the way. If this is something that you know will help you, you can scan that QR code in your workbook to get started or visit our website. If you're looking to learn more great tips to find success with this year's goals, you can tune in to episode number eight of the Nutrition Made Simple podcast to hear five habits of highly successful nutrition clients. And this is from the founder of Healthy Steps Nutrition, registered dietitian, Nicole Acoin and Ashley Osterman from that company. 
So at this point in your handbook, you should be filled in with a bunch of notes, start visualizing the steps that you need to take to find your new you this year. With all of that misinformation out there, it can feel really overwhelming. So to start building your foundation, here are a few principles that have helped so many people take control of their health. Uh, number one is gonna be to add more whole foods into your diet. So start choosing whole food options, less processed foods packed with sodium, fat, and sugar. Simple way to start this is just reshaping your plate with the plate method. Half of your plate, non-starchy veggies, quarter plate lean protein, quarter plate starchy carbs, and a mindful amount of healthy fat. Number two is to focus on balance. And when we say balance, we mean every meal and snack you're eating throughout the day has a carbohydrate, a protein, and a fat. Pairing each meal and snack with all three of these is going to help you stay full for longer. Number three, of course, is to limit the added sugar. Sugar is super, super addicting and is hidden in almost every food product that you'll find in a package. So don't forget to start with a clean slate and get that out of your pantry. So now we're going to answer a couple frequently asked questions. Fueling around your workouts to gain muscle, lose fat, increase energy, or really any other health and fitness goal is really important. So aim to have a healthy carbohydrate and a protein before and after your workouts. What if you don't like vegetables? Heard this a lot. Uh, try roasting your veggies for a crunch, add some seasoning for some flavor, and maybe even find some ways to sneak that into your recipes and smoothies to get more vegetables into your day. Where should you start? We've talked about one thing at a time. So maybe it's something that you already have in mind or one of the things that we talked about today. But the best and fastest way to reach your goal is to work with a nutrition coach to build an individualized plan just for you. There's never going to be a perfect time to get started. There's always something that's going to stand in the way, but you have to make that commitment and prioritize yourself. It's simple, not easy, but we're here to help. So if you need someone to help you create a plan that's realistic for you and someone to keep you accountable to that plan, we would love to help. So we focus on a habit-based approach here at B3 Gym to, again, create that individual plan just for you. We work with you using our many tools and resources to build a solid nutrition foundation and build a plan that you can fit into your lifestyle. Along with all the tools and resources, support and accountability is what's going to keep you on track towards those goals. And we're here to help you every step of the way. You can schedule a free intro, reach out to us online. I'd be happy to meet with you and chat about our program. We're also excited to launch a brand new nutrition and accountability challenge starting in January. So it'll be January 24th, we're opening up 20 spots. You'll work with me individually and as a group to discuss your goals at the beginning and end. Lots of group support and accountability through your challenge. Um, I'll send a link for this to sign up in a follow-up email as well. So today we talked about the three tips to help you find your new you this new year. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, please send me a quick email. You can um, type in the chat box as well. And if you're looking to change the narrative of failed or forgotten New Year's resolutions, remember to ditch the all or nothing mindset, start with a clean slate and make a plan for success. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, please reach out if you need some help with your new year's resolutions. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing and um, thank you again for joining me and I hope to see you next month.